Uh, hey, everybody, I'm Jason Kemmer. I'm one of the consulting sales engineers here at Forcepoint, and we're going to take a look at um, our DLP detection capabilities. Um, one of the biggest things that customers always ask is, you know, how efficient or how accurate are your policies. So we're taking a look at what we call the DLP pyramid here. And those are all the different types of data identifiers or classifiers that our tool shows um, the, really the true strength and the breadth of all the different types of uh, inspection methods that we have. Um, starting at the bottom, working our way up, um, we have the typical what all DOP vendors kind of have, which is the keywords, the phrases, and the regular expressions. Um, just out of the box, this, by the way, we have over 1,500 classifiers, and this is really going to help you get started um, to identify intellectual property needs, compliance needs, um, things like that, right? PII, PCI, PHI, you name it, right? Um, another deeper layer we're taking into consideration is the, the, the types of files that we're actually able to support for inspection. Some of our competitors actually uh, don't even come close to half and we're constantly in trying to increase the number of files that we detect going from 600 to 900 um, based on true file type detection. So what does that mean? Um, true file type detection is simply uh, when a user tries to, for example, take a Word document, manipulate it or change it into an Excel spreadsheet or compress those series of office file types into a compressed zip. Uh, as long as they're not password encrypting it, we're actually still able to have that deeper layer of inspection and say, hey, you took 100 files, all you did was compress them, so we can still inspect them and then apply remediation based on that. Another integration that we have is through any third party labeling or classification solution that we can also apply our DOP policies to. Whether that's in line or at discovery, we can integrate with two popular vendors such as Microsoft Information Protection or Bold and James through Help Systems or any other third party that you may wanna to bring to Forcepoint DLP. Um, and we're simply doing that just by looking at the header information. Um, but another uh, really cool feature that we have with MIP and Bold and James together is that we can actually do what's called automatic classification. Um, an automatic classification is just using our DOP robust inspection methods, as you see it on the screen, and then actually take those uh, files that have maybe possibly either been labeled by a previous solution or never labeled at all, and then use those tagging solutions in order to apply those um, tags or headers and then apply, you know, uh, post-mortem uh, DLP inspection to those after the fact. So moving things from public to confidential and then being able to sufficiently block those in case there was no sensitive criteria found within those files. Um, moving over to natural language processing scripts, um, we have various scripts that cover, like I, like I mentioned before, PII, PCI, PHI, any really robust uh, classifier type that requires a, a, a little bit more advanced calculation. So we're looking at all sorts of combinations of the keywords, regular expressions, phrases, the file types, and all sorts of different proximity limits in order to really get that uh, absolute true positive when it comes to our DLP alerts. Moving on to machine learning, we have uh, what, what I would call unstructured um, that form contextual analysis. So that's really training the system, the difference between negative and positive examples. Um, a negative could be a invoice or a um, maybe a new hire information where its purpose is to absorb sensitive data. That is what we would consider a negative sample. But if you have those samples in your environment that are constantly being sent out, kind of a routine process, we can actually train those systems and say, hey, well, if these templates do contain sensitive data or even possibly examples, we can train those as positive and then uh, being able to reduce the false positives that way. That way you're not having to resort back to offering people exceptions that don't necessarily need them. And last but not least, the crown jewels um, are precise ID fingerprinting, similar to index document or exact data matching. We can even uh, fingerprint a folder or a plethora of files uh, against partial and full hashes. So if you take an autobiography, let's say it's three pages long, you take out one sentence, try to paste into a new file. That's an example of partial. And we can hit on that. Take the entire autobiography, change the file type. That's full uh, because you're just manipulating essentially the hash value. And then last but not least, the unstructured data. Um, this is uh, 
a, a very popular use case for some of our largest customers. And that's really truly fingerprinting either information from a database or a customer provided sample set that could contain millions of records and then being able to apply uh, blocking policies to exactly you know, Jason, for example, and his date of birth and potentially either a medical record number, an account number or claims invoice and being able to do that with supreme 100 percent accuracy. Um, and if you want to see more information on Forcepoint DLP, just contact us at our website, forcepoint.com for a deep dive of a one on one live demonstration. Thanks for listening.